DirecTV DECA splitter. Will it work? So about a year ago, almost a year ago, I actually did a video on this DirecTV DECA. And uh, it's actually just showed you how to use a coax cable as an ethernet cable with this conversion. So what you do is you just plug this side up to the switch or router and your cable to here. And on the other end, you'll put another DECA on that end. And then that goes to your computer, another switch, an access point, or what what have you. So check out that video. I'll put a link down below and a, a card at the end of the video so you can go watch that one. So in today's video, what we're actually going to do is I've got three splitters sitting here. I've got a two-way, a balanced three-way, and then a four-way. On the two-way, I got three and a half dB loss. On the balanced three-way, I got five five dB loss. And on the four way, I got seven dB loss. Now that's not really gonna be relevant here in this case. However, I don't even know if this is gonna actually work. So step one, we're gonna see if it actually will go through this splitter. So what we're gonna do is actually hook up this to the switch and this to the input of the splitter. And then from one of the legs out, we're gonna, we're gonna run around and then hook up the other one to this one or a test bench here. That's that's the first that's the second thing we're gonna do. And then the third thing we're gonna do is see how much how much bandwidth it loses if this works. So um if it works, then we're actually gonna run two off of this and hook up the two computers at the same time and see what happens. And then we'll go to the balanced three-way and then the four-way splitter, so long as everything goes goes as planned. This may be end up a bust and a half. I haven't really done my research to see if it works. So I just thought, you know, this crazy, stupid idea, will this work? So um, I know these are actually used as mochas as well. So I got a feeling that it will. I just want to see if it does and how much bandwidth we're going to lose with all these three different types of splitters if it works. So without further ado, I'm going to get this hooked up and then we'll, we'll, yeah. All right, so I got all this stuff hooked up. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you in a portable phone camera what I have going on right now. And we'll take a, a quick dive over to this one. So right now, let's see if I can get you in the screen. Right now, you see I got the splitter. This one's going to the switch. This one's going to go to the computer. But what we're going to do is Take a gander real quick. See these lights? See how they're green? That means they're actually connected to each other. So what we're going to do actually is hook up, hook up the, the blue Ethernet cable to the test bench here. And we're going to see if it actually goes. So I'm going to actually position the phone towards the screen if we can. And what we're actually looking for is this globe to show that we got connectivity. And if uh, if we do, that means it's gonna run through that splitter. And we'll do a speed test to see what we get. So, let's click it in there. See what kind of stuff we get. Oh, 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 oh! It worked! It worked! Check it out. Oh my lord, it worked. I can't believe it worked. I, I'll be honest with you, I was a naysayer. I didn't think it was going to. Let's go ahead and pull up Ukla and see, let's see now what kind of bandwidth we lose. This is what I had before, hooked up directly from the switch. Let's see what we have now. Now, mind you, I can only get 100 megs out of this thing. So about 94 is what I got on that other video. Looks like we're getting about 94, almost 95, 90, 90, 93, 92. So we're not losing much. Let's see what the upload goes. Oh, it's going the same thing. It's going right through that splitter. Holy cow. No bandwidth loss. Okay, so now what do I do? Do I go ahead and hook up another one? You guys want to see another one? Let's hook up another one, shall we? Oh my lordy, we're gonna hook up another one. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, so let's go ahead and 
I'll take this one. I'm going to take this one and Oh Lordy, that's on the two-way splitter. If this goes through, oh my Lord, this is just uh, goodness gracious. Okay, I know you can't see me right now, but we're gonna hook that up. All right, we got light. See this cable here? It's gonna go onto here. We got a green power light and an orange network light. The network light turns green. Uh oh. Oh man. We hook this up to the other end of that splitter. So here's that splitter. Goes over there. Oh, I, I just already saw it turn green. Holy cow, it just turned green. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's green. It's green. Oh my lordy. That one's green. That one's all green. That means he's talking. That one's green. Okay. Oh lordy. I know, I'm getting all giddy giddy. Let's go ahead and plug this one in. All right, we'll plug that one in. All the lights are all on on that. Got three green lights now. Let's go over to there. That's one this one's on. Holy cow, it's on there. It's on there. That's what I had before. All right, here we go. Look at that. Holy cow, it goes through splitters. And no bandwidth lost. Okay, maybe a little bit of bandwidth loss, but not that much. I mean, we're talking, I ran it again a few times. Um, I'm sitting at 80 down like I was before at 80, 80 up, 79, 80 up. So, you know, we're losing about 13 megs, but that's still not quite much. I mean, it's not enough to just kill the whole project. So I just thought I'd come in here real quick um, during the edit because uh, I know I mentioned it, there's no bandwidth loss, but there's a, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Tiny bit. So, all right, on with the show. I mean, there's 80. I can handle 80. Uh, that's on a three and a half leg. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna just skip that balance three way, go straight to the four way with the seven dB loss and see if there's any bandwidth taken off of that and uh see 92 up 92 up 93 up okay let's go ahead and just grab the four way and we'll uh we'll undo that put it on here Go ahead, and now they've all gone. If you notice now, since I disconnected it, that's gone there, and it's gone over there. So, what we're gonna do now is get these two on here. Ow, that hurt. Poked myself with the stinger. There. There. Almost there. 
Almost there. Let's see if we get it connect. See if it gets connected. See now we're we're flashing the uh, orange. Let's do the connection thing. Leave it over here. Let's see if it connects. We'll go through this full way up. Yep, it went through. There's the green. There's the green. Establishing the connection. May have to reset here. Pull the Ethernet switch port. Plug it back in. There it goes. Unplug this one. Come on, little bastard. All right. Unplug that, reset that. And there it is. We've got internet. We've got internet through the four way. Now let's see what kind of bandwidth we uh we lose. Run that one. Dude, we're still at 92, 93, 90, 94, 90, 94. When that gets done, we'll go over the other one. Ninety-three, 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 ninety-four. All right, ninety-four, ninety-four. All right, let's take a look at this one over here. Come on, there you go. Eighty-nine, seventy-nine, eighty, seventy-nine, eighty, eighty. I mean, either way, 80 is still not terrible. Not terrible at all. I, I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, this is this is quite quite phenomenal. Um, where's the other one at? I had four of them. One, two, three, four. So you could technically take this four way. Hey. You want to do something else? You want to go one step farther? S and G's, boys and girls. S and G's. So what we're going to do, <laughs> we're going to take this three-way splitter, right? And we're going to put it on the output. We're going to take this input. This is the one coming from the switch, right? And we're going to hook it up to the input of the three way. And then we're going to. Hook it up to the input of the four way and see if it goes through two splitters. See if it goes through two splitters. Alright, so right now it's establishing a connection on that one. Gonna take it a second. Establishing a connection on this one. See what it does. Nope, oh, that one's there. Nope, it was. Now it's green. See what this one does. Oh, it's going back and forth. Now it's green. That one's green. That one's green, solid green, and that one just disappeared. Green, keeps going back to green to amber, green to amber. 
So you cannot, cannot go from a two-way to a four-way. So that's okay though. That's okay. Oh wait, now they're starting up. Yeah, they keep going. They keep coming and going, coming and going. It's not a stable connection. It's not a stable connection. So that's fine. I wasn't that wasn't anticipating that anyway. I, I'm surprised this thing even works. So, you know, we're gonna go back to the four-way. This might be a great solution for those houses that have coax in there, but you just can't get them. Get a wire in there. There it is. Established connection. Awesome of sauces. Awesome of sauces. Awesome of sauces. Check her out. It's hooked up to a four way splitter. Yeah, I know you can't see it. Yay. Four way splitter. Deca in, two deca out, which means I can actually put. Two more cables off of these two other legs go into another DECA, like so, bam, go to another room, and then bam, go to another room, and you're set. Uh, they do make these things, uh, um, they're more, they're, they're for mocha stuff, but they do make more expensive ones. They're like $150 for the pair, and yes, you get the gig. These only run the 100, but I'll be honest, a hundred down and a hundred up, which we got 94, 94, 80, and 88 on, on that computer. But that's plenty of bandwidth to even play all your games. I mean, there's not, those games don't take that much bandwidth. Your, your, uh, Netflix and all that stuff don't take that much bandwidth. So this is awesome. I mean, if you're actually a little bit savvy, you could do some damage with real cheap. These things were a pair. I got them for uh, $16 for these, these for the pair here. So um, the thing I did learn during this process, the ones I got actually came with the USB to power it. And I think it required 5 volts and 0.5 amps. It wants 5 volts, 0.5 amps. It won't willy-nilly go into something else and just down convert it. It needs the 5 amp. So what I would probably suggest to do, and I'll throw it on the on, on a link instead of the ones I bought here. Um, I think it's an extra dollar or two. Uh, I'll put the link on there where it actually takes the power supply on there. That way, there's no no ifs, ands, or worries. Uh, don't forget to check out the other one that I have uh, that shows the DECA. I, I just think this is just awesome. I'm rambling now. All right, thanks, guys. Like, subscribe. You know what to do. It's YouTube. I guess we're going back to that. Right here's the uh, the card for the other DECA. I appreciate watching. Bye. I know I'm skedaddle over here. We'll see ya. I'm not doing it. You thought I was going to do it again. Bye now. Awesome little sauces. Awesome little sauces. Uh, let's see what that does. Let's see what that does.